Good Erev Yom Tov. Last year, the theme of my speech was, what really matters? What really does matter? How we live our lives with integrity, compassion, character, sacrifice, and the influence we have on family and friends. 5780 was a monumental test of all that I spoke of. This year, 5781, I would like to focus on gratitude. The Cambridge definition of gratitude is showing or expressing thanks. The question is, are we profoundly grateful? Do we take life and our everyday comforts for granted? When we awake each morning and open our eyes, do we take notice? When we use our sink and we have clean and hot water, do we take notice? When we feel hot or cold and are able to adjust our thermostat, do we take notice? When we open our pantry or refrigerator and there is food and drink, do we take notice? And then last spring, COVID-19 arrived. Yes, we were confined to our homes. And yes, we were unable to visit with friends and family. And yes, we could not dine out or go to the theater or get our hair cut. And yes, our shul was closed. And then the shul reopened. It is too hot. It is too cold. I cannot sit in my seat. The rabbi speaks too long or not long enough. Why is there no kiddush? And why do I have to wear a mask? Is this who we are and how we want to live our lives? We have so much to be grateful for and yet we focus on what isn't. We have life and we are truly blessed. We do have a roof over our heads. We can video call our families who live out of town. We do have food in our refrigerators and clothing in our closets. Our shul is open, while many synagogues throughout the world remain closed. Yes, it is true that sometimes the air conditioning does not work perfectly, and sometimes the lights flicker or do not work at all, yet we are open. We have made every effort to keep you healthy and safe if you choose to attend services. And if you're unable to attend, the rabbis have made learning and davening available through regular updates and Zoom. I would like to express my gratitude to all of you. We have all gone through, gone through a most challenging time, and yet we continue to adjust and adapt. Many of you have already made your annual pledge, and I thank you. For those who have yet to do so, I ask that you remember that the shul has and continues to provide services and programming. Please considering deeper this year, as the prayer says, Teshuva, Tefillah, and Sadaka remove the evil decree. May we be blessed with the year of health, happiness, Parnassa, Simcha, and express our deepest gratitude to Hashem for the countless blessings in our lives. Good Yom Tif.